Well, a huge Supreme Court ruling could lead to more states trying to ban the use of race, gender, and other factors in college admissions. So this week, the justices upheld a Michigan law that was approved by voters. The law had been overturned by a lower court, but in a 6-2 to two vote, the Supreme Court said the lower court did not have authority to do that. Joining us to discuss is political analyst Jason Johnson. Jason, good morning to you. Morning. You know, Justice Anthony Kennedy sided with the majority, and he actually wrote, the case is not about how to debate about racial preferences and how they should be resolved. It's about who may resolve it, pointing out the lower court cannot overturn what Michigan voters have voted on. Doesn't he have a point here? Uh, he does have a point if you don't really think about the reality on the ground. And, and the situation is this. If you allow the majority rule to always apply when it comes to law, the minorities will always suffer under tyranny. I mean, I mean that's the basics of it. If, if you allowed men to decide on when women were going to be allowed to vote, it wouldn't have happened. And so that's pretty much what we're looking at here. Uh, Sonia Sotomayor said this wasn't a good idea. Some of the other justices said it's not about affirmative action. It's about who gets to make this vote. I think ultimately it's going to be a real problem for the state. Speaking of Sonia Sotomayor, she actually came out in her dissent and said, we ought not sit back and wish away, rather confront the racial inequality that exists in our society. She also points out that this is because this is a standard that is not being applied to things other than race, right? Right, exactly. And that's where it's really kind of moving the goalposts here because this ruling, the, the Michigan vote said, well, you can't really use race when it comes to making determinations as to whether somebody can get into college. But they didn't say anything about gender. They didn't say anything about legacy. They didn't say anything about athletes. They didn't say anything about so many other areas. And so it seems like a sort of discriminatory, uh, discriminatory law that's focused on one particular group of people who might suffer. Why not address the uh, income distribution? Why? I mean, half of students mm -hmm. at upper level universities are from the upper income levels. Why isn't that being addressed? Why isn't that being discussed? Well, I, I think that's a big problem in general. And this, this is where I put on the professor hat. Okay, there are so many different things that students of all colors and all types can contribute to an institution. But they, at the end of the day, if you happen to be an African-American and you have, say, a black-sounding lame like Shaniqua or something else like that, no matter how educated you are, there are still people who may discriminate against you, no matter what your income is, when you apply to college. And that's one of the reasons why affirmative action exists. It's to help people who are suffering because of who they happen to be, not because of their income or anything else they may bring to the table. So you're saying this needs to be in place, or Michigan voters should not even be able to vote on this because there are not enough African-Americans that would be able to outweigh the white voters? No, no. What I'm saying is there was a better way to make this argument. There was a board of regents at every single state school in Michigan. You could lobby those people. You could argue with them and say, look, you 15 board of regents, this is what we think should be you know, coming into consideration. And Republicans and Democrats got to nominate people for those boards. When you move it to the state level, it makes it impossible for any minority to have a voice. But when it's just a small subcommittee at every institution, I think that's much more fair. All right, Jason Johnson there obviously tapped into the university world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you.